Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how you apply for the SI scholarship. Now, the SI scholarship is in twofold. You have to first apply to the university, then you apply to the scholarship. The university application process, we covered that in the previous video, which you can find down in my description box. Today, we are going to focus on the scholarship application process. When applying to the SI scholarship, you're required to submit three different forms. The letter of reference, proof of work and leadership experience, and a CV. If you'd like support with your application, in the description box, I'll also leave a link where you can book for a one-on-one -on -one and I'll be able to assist you with your application. In this video, we're going to discuss everything SI scholarship, but specifically, we are going to look at the proof of work and leadership experience. So we'll read the instructions because they are quite key for us to be excellent at this application. We start off with how to fill out the form. The template consists of two parts, a work experience form and a leadership experience form. You can submit up to three work experience forms to verify up to three different work experiences. You can submit up to two leadership experience forms to verify up to two different leadership experiences. You must request current or previous supervisors or managers or HR or head of the organization to validate validate your experience in the work experience form. Please only include the most relevant experiences you have had within the field of your expertise slash studies. The work experience information you provide should correspond to the work experience you have listed in your CV. So don't forget that. You have to make sure that the work experience you information you provide should correspond. Then in your leadership experience form, please specify the hours of work experience that included leadership roles. For instance, if you've worked a total of 3,000 hours at a company, 2,000 hours as an administrator and 1,000 hours as the head of your unit, then you should provide proof of both the 2,000 hours as an administrator and 1,000 hours as head of unit in the work experience form. In the leadership experience form, include only the 1,000 hours as head of unit. Hope that's clear. The leadership experience involves the experience of leading other employees in a team or department slash unit with a mandate to influence the development strategy for the organization you work at to allocate tasks and familiarity with decision-making processes. Who can fill out the form? If you work in a family business, if you are the owner of a business, or if you do freelance work, we can accept a signature from a client or a staff who works at your company, but who is not your family member. Clients should be companies or organizations, i.e. not private individuals, and are only allowed to certify the hours you have worked for them. The stamp should be the official stamp of the company organization. If you do freelance work, you may also ask an employee at the professional association or agency where you are registered as a freelance or receive assignments form to be your referee and sign and stamp the form. You can ask the same person to sign both the work experience form and leadership experience form as well as write the letter of reference for you. If your referee has has changed job and is unable to represent your former or current employer or your client's company, we recommend that you find another referee who still works at the referring organization and is able to certify your number of hours with the official stamp of the organization. Examples of who cannot sign the form. Co-workers, family members, relatives, partners, friends, individuals who demand compensation, that's money, goods, favors, services, or other means from you in order to give a statement of reference. Please ask your referees to fill out the appropriate information by typing, then print the form and sign by hand and put official stamp of the referred organization at the end. It should then be scanned and converted into PDF format. Please do not forget to make sure that you have these details attended to to the dot. 
because quite a number of people miss this and their application is null and void. So requirements and submission. The proof of work and leadership experience form must be completed in English and cannot exceed one page per form or five pages in total excluding the instruction page. You must merge all work experience forms and leadership experience forms into one PDF. Because of the way the form is built up, the section where your referee should put their stamp might end up on its own page or a second page and that is okay so it's not a problem any additional pages with information we haven't asked for in the form will be disregarded any false misleading or incomplete answer may result in the rejection of your application if your employer does not have any stamp we recommend that you provide proof of your work experience from another organization if you are not able to get a traditional stamp for your reference later you could explore the possibility to sign the document with a digital signature or stamp. However, please note that a traditional stamp is preferred. If it is the only work experience you have, we may accept an official stamp from a notary office. However, your referee still needs to fill the template and sign it on behalf of the organization. The notary needs to certify the English in English that the information in the form is true and correct and that the referee is authorized to present the referring organization. The notary certificate certificate should be merged with the form as one PDF. To be valid, each of the forms must be dated, signed by hand by the referee, by hand by the referee, and stamped with the official stamp of the referring organization or a notary office. The stamp can be in any language as long as it is the official stamp of the referring organization. Any other format of proof of work and leadership experience will be disregarded. So you have to make sure that it's this exact form that you're using, not any other form, but this particular form. Authenticity. SI will carry out random checks on the application and applicants to scrutinize any false or misleading information, including fabricated documentation. Should any false information be found, the applicant will be automatically disqualified and barred from applying for any school SI scholarship programs in the future. Any false information discovered during the scholarship period will cause termination of the scholarship. The scholarship holder will then have to refund the full scholarship amount to SI. Very serious here. Do you have any questions? Please read the instructions above thoroughly. SI cannot make any exemptions. If you have more questions, please make sure to read through the information about the SISGP as well as frequently asked questions which you can find on their website. Enclosure to the application of the Swedish Institute Scholarship for Global Professionals for Master's level in Sweden starting academic year 2024-2025. So the forms must be completed in English. Additional pages will not be considered. Referees must sign and stamp the forms with the official organization stamp, then convert, to, convert them to PDF form. Okay, so in this example, I'm using Aliko Dangote. So if you've watched the previous video, you know that I used Aliko Dangote for the university applications so this is a carry forward from that now you find that i have bolded the side that has aliko dangote please don't bold you've got to make sure that you keep within the same formats that you've been given the same font and don't change a thing but for this example i've bolded please don't bold Again, I've just used the bolded part just to highlight the example. Another thing to point out is all the details here are not Aliko Dangote's details. These are details that have been just formulated for this example. So the phone number, email addresses, and everything not for Aliko Dangote, but we're using him as an example for the SI. So first name, you place what your first name is. If you're unsure, look at how your first name is stated in your passport or your birth certificate, and that will guide you on what your first name is and what your surname is. Date of birth, very clear. Citizenship, Nigerian, Ugandan, name it. Full name of the company, organization where the applicant works or worked, Dangote Oil Refinery. Title, founding partner time period, you give the period when you are working there, type of work, employment, as applicant worked in total, 7,000. Work specific tasks of the applicant, just a brief of the work specific tasks, and this, remember, should be similar to what is also going to be in your CV, and also should be easily defendable when we come to the letter of reference. 
So negotiate contracts with company executives, acquire funding by the, by the setup of a tactical budgets and incentives that maximize a return on investment, represent the company by taking interviews and speaking engagement to increase visibility, and you can write as much as possible, but as you have to remember to stay within one page for every work experience. So you've got to put into consideration the character limit of 250 characters, including spaces. So to make sure that you are within the limit, you highlight the wording and then come to your bottom left where you see 34 words. Click on this and then you will start to see characters, no Spaces is 209 characters with spaces is 241. So we are within the character limit. So make sure that this is also within the character limit. So we'll continue. Full name of the referee is Jacob Mosugu. Again, someone else. Uh, your title position, human resource manager. Email address. Again, this is something that has been created. And then we have the phone number. Then signature of referee. Here we'll have Jacob sign and then an official stamp and this is then turned to PDF afterwards. And you recall the template consists of two parts, a work experience form and a leadership experience form. You can submit up to three work experience forms to verify up to three different work experiences. Then you can submit up to two different leadership experience forms. So this is just an example. Please, if you have more than one ex work experience, remember you can submit up to three work experience forms and two leadership experience forms. Leadership experience forms, still the names, um, Aliko Dangote, Nigerian, and all. Then you come to hours. Applicant worked in total, 7,000. Remember also with, when it comes to hours, they have to be specific to your leadership experience. And here they're the same because his work experience was already a leadership role, but you've got to make sure that it's specific to your leadership experience work hours. Main leadership responsibility, managing or changing a company or or chairing a company or department. Then leadership specific tasks. Here the characters are 400 max including spaces and again we went ahead and included the different specific leadership tasks. Jacob still can be able to sign on this and remember you can add up to two leadership experiences and that's it for the proof of work and leadership experience. If you have any questions just leave that in the description box. One more thing I needed to point out is the type of work. When you get to the type of work you have a drop box here employment involvement in network or networks or civil society organization outside work studies volunteering internships student organizations other please specify so you can choose employment or choose whatever suits if it's other please go ahead and specify that's it on the proof of work and leadership experience a particular tip i would like to give to you while you are working on this make sure that you go back to the instruction and read them as much as possible. Highlight every single instruction and make sure that you tick off every part that you have been able to fulfill. Just missing one section of the instructions could mean that your application could become null and void. So make sure that you cover all the instructions that the SI has stated. Until next time, remember, it might be hard, but nothing is ever impossible. See you.